Do chip op amps sound as good as discrete op amps? Sometimes. But we'll get into it more than that because it's a pretty juicy question. And it comes to us from Lasantha in Canada. Lasantha writes, do chip op amps sound any good? If we have two identical DACs and one has the best chip op amp and the other the best discrete op amp, which will be better? Generally speaking, the discrete op amp will be better, and I'll explain why. Much depends on how you design the thing. I mean, years ago when we first started PS Audio, 1974, we used a 709C, which is an integrated circuit, a chip op amp. And we struggled for a good year to try and figure out how to get that to sound great. And we did, and it was a great sounding product. Same one that was used in the, in the old quintessence preamps and phono stages. But it didn't take us long before we figured out that we could do a lot better with discrete. And we went from this complex little miniature chip op amp to a very simple, what do we have? Diff pair, that's two, gain stage, and outputs. So how many is that? Five. So we had five, I think and later on we current sourced it, so we had six. So eventually we had six transistors to create an op amp that blew away the 709C. Now that said, it, it's really hard to generalize like that because it, it, there are hundreds of thousands of op amps, chip op amps available and how you use them how they are designed, what they're designed for, the skill of the designer, all those things apply, just as they do with discretes. I mean, you know, you could have a guy who doesn't know much about sound designing a discrete op amp and have it sound like crap, right? Because you got to know what you're doing, and it's not trivial. I, another thing I want to bring up is um, a lot of people don't know what an op amp or an operational amplifier is. So let me take a moment to, to, to tell you what that, that's about. Th there are multiple kinds of amplifiers. So a tube amplifier, for example, if we have a tube input stage, typically something like that is a single device, cathode, grid, oh, I can hear Ibo in there, cathode, uh, uh, plate, ca uh, uh, grid, and uh, cathode. You get your, your three elements plus a heater. And in a transistor, you know, you got the same three things. So you can make an amplifier out of a single device, okay? But that's not an operational amplifier. An operational amplifier has two inputs, an inverting and a non-inverting input, and an output. And we usually draw it like a, a triangle. It kind of looks like this. And so input one, input two, and then the output, and then you have power supply going into it. And operational amplifiers properly designed can be times one amplifiers, they can have very high gain, they can be difference amplifiers, using those two inputs as a differential amplifier. And we've talked about that before, this is why we use balance cables, because when a balance cable, we have a differential input which ignores anything in common, that's typically a differential pair, which is the basis of most operational amplifiers. But essentially an operational amplifier is, is, a, is a differential pair, a pair of transistors. One, one side of the transistor is the plus input, the other side is the minus. A gain stage that takes the output of that, raises the gain, and then some sort of output. That's a very simple device. It can have hundreds of transistors, it can have five, it can, I think, I experimented once and I think, if I remember right, I think I came up with a three no, no. I, of course, a three, a three device op amp's easy. A two device op amp, that's right. I came up with a single diff pair and turned it into an op amp with feedback and everything. Yeah, think about that. That's, that's hard to do. Okay, but generally speaking, a discrete op amp's gonna be better. Here's why. All things being equal, and those things equal are that you have designers with skills, Op amps that are made with discrete circuits can take advantage of higher voltages and they can be designed specifically for audio. And most op amps are not designed specifically for audio. 
They are general purpose op-amps. So they have tons of open loop gain. We have to feed it back. That means we have a lot of feedback. So when we design a discrete op-amp, we do very low feedback. We can control the gains. We can control the current going through the stages so that we can have high bias current devices with low feedback and still have extremely low distortion. 0.001, no feedback, no problems with slew rate. So if you know what you're doing, discrete, always better. Okay, thanks. Talk to you tomorrow.